This is Jack. He's one of our three dogs. He's a sweetie. Oh, you hello, buddy. Yeah. It's 8.30. He's already been out, but he wants his walk. He'll get one soon. Yeah, you will. You bow. You bow. Oh, it's a good man. What does that have to do with puppets? Absolutely nothing. Now, I had a bit of a, uh, a joke. This is a bit of a background for you, if you're interested. Um, bit of a uh, uh, sort of jokey interest in, in, or I made a joke, I should say, about making uh, Battlestar Galactica puppets. I thought it'd be funny if, um, if as a joke, they, um, the humans had actually made puppets, and then they were human form puppets, and the sort of the gag of, you know, trying to find out who's the Cylon when it's clearly a puppet, because it struck me as funny. Um, I was chatting with some friends of mine about that, and we're potentially going to do something about that, but, um, but I'm also, uh, I'm sort of, I'm in that mode right now. Uh, so possibly Battlestar Galactica puppets. And the first one that I would do, because the woman, would be uh, Caprica 6. Because Caprica 6 would be part of it. Um, because, you know, it's kind of not Galactica without the head Cylon. I mean, she's not like a head Cylon story-wise, but character-wise. Um, so initially, I had drawn some drawings, and I'm just going to show these to you. My tiny sketch. I mean, the Centurion, you know, pretty simple. Um... This one I like, even though this is not the initial one I'm going to be doing. Uh, tie, it's kind of cool. Uh, and then I did this sketch for uh, for six. And of course I did this. Now this probably doesn't look terribly impressive, and you if you actually can't see this, I'll superimpose it or uh, swap it out. But you know I'd sort of draw the line a half across to make it look like okay that's where the 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 hinge will be and stuff like that. And it's you know it's very simple, but it looks like kind of like a bad fan art sketch of Trisha Helfer, which of course is not meant to be. Um, and then I saw a friend of mine, Pasha, made this really, really amazing um, Spike Lee puppet. And I decided that this um, piece of crap is a piece of crap. Uh, so I'm redoing the design for for those. I'm going to be using this other body thing, but I'm going to be doing a different face, a different level of complexity. Um, the closest one that I've tried really is uh, that it's comparable is Stephen Colbert, but this is going to hopefully put Stephen Colbert to shame because I want to sort of up my my level of uh, up the ante again, as it were. Um, so I'm going to challenge myself to make something uh, visually m much more interesting. And I thought I would, uh, from the beginning, show you the whole process, uh, and then as I go. So you probably won't see this until much further along the lines. I won't be like putting this out daily, but as it gets a certain uh, benchmarks or whatever. Uh, if you're wondering about a light that's kind of varying in the background, I have a heater that's kind of rotating. And it's very cool. But uh, so anyway, the new change, this is going to look really horrible, probably, but here's this. Because um, basically, what I'm going to do, instead of taking it away, um, instead of doing the head as like one or two pieces of foam as I tend to do, even with the Colbert, I did sort of like top of the head and then kind of cheeks and the jowl, which is this, this, but it's sort of uh, a more intricate way. This, this is actually going to be her face, or there's actually all going to be her face. Um, and it's just going to be a different way of doing it so you can get much more features, a much more um, specific display of the features. And this would be sort of what it would look like. She looks a little more Kate Mossy there than she hopefully will in uh, the final thing. And jumping massively ahead, this is her body. And the body will... Uh, oh, oh, just jumping back to the head. See, the difference here is I'm going to try, uh, because I saw Pasha do it and it looked really cool. You see, he didn't do the whole mouth across. Because that's what I kind of tend to do. Um, is, you know, the mouth across like this, um, or in the case of, uh, just toss that aside, um, the case of Snitch, it's kind of like, hey, it's very expressive, but kind of not as cool looking. Um, so to have the smaller mouth, more human, it would look a lot less like a, you know, a puppet version of someone, just like a, a, a version of someone. So uh, that'll be cool. That's just something I'm going to be doing that's uh, going to be different. So you, yeah, so that's it. Uh, and then the head, or the body rather, uh, I'm going to carve her whole body out of foam. This is me sketching um, Trisha Helfer's midsection um, and trying to figure out the best way to represent her breasts. Which is kind of weird to do, but... And then basically her arms would just be made out of... Uh, similar to the other ones, actually, just a little more nuanced. So it would be like chunks of foam connected by... F or covered by fabric, and it would be connected to the shoulder. And then this would basically be like a kind of mannequin-y kind of one. Much more mannequin-y looking than uh, other efforts I've done. Um, and the foot will be pretty simple. Just have no toes, but I'm jumping way ahead of myself. With the... With the head, I'm going to be making... Um, 
hopefully getting like the cheekbones shown and she's got a very strong jawline and chin and I want to get that in there uh, and then it'd be nice hole in the background to stick hand in uh, to control her uh, and then you know a bit of eye, eye hole and it'll be you know this level of eye so she'll look kind of ear which is the doll eye I don't know if you can see that from about there um, so it'll be really cool and the very first step that I'm going to be doing um, if anyone is still watching is uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the process because, like I said, this is me doing it from the beginning. I haven't actually started it yet, so I'm not doing the, oh, I just started and I'm showing you what I've already done. Um, I'm about to start. I'm not doing the fake cooking show thing. So basically the first phase is uh, paper prototypes. What I'm going to be doing for the next, I don't know, one third, like hour before I have to go out for a few hours is I'm going to take this. I have this big pad of newsprint, which is tremendously awesome. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the exact height that I want the head to be. Then I'm going to sketch it out at roughly that, that height. And because I'm doing it different this way, what I'm going to be doing is um, trying to figure out exactly how big each of these pieces are going to be on a piece of paper. And then I'm going to cut that out and sort of make a big paper craft version of her head. Um, and this sort of rapid paper prototyping is really, really helpful because um, I can do it really quick. And I can just sort of tape it up is basically what I do. So I just use, use some some paper, do some tape, burr, and uh, and then I make a, qu a quick one. It won't be right the first time, but I'll make it again and again and again. Sort of any each time I make the head, I'm not hoping that it'll be perfect. I just want to see how it looks and then refine, refine, refine. So um, because you know, if the first time you do it, you think, oh, this has got to be the first right out of the bay, uh, right out of the gate, then you know you kind of fail and repeatedly. Whereas this way, I'm trying to figure out the best way. I'm sort of how do I solve the puzzle? That's what it is. And then once I have the paper done, which you know. Optimistically, I'd get done today, but probably realistically, it'd take me like uh, till tomorrow because of other commitments of time. And uh, then once I get that done, then I'll use the piece of paper, which I'll then trace um, and probably scan into my computer and uh, sort of pretty up in Illustrator, and then print out uh, the foam pattern, but on paper. And then I'll just sort of lay that over uh, the pattern or put the paper pieces over top of the foam and then use that as a pattern, cut that out, and they'll be able to glue the foam together and then see how that looks. Now the potential problem with the foam aspect of that is that I'm using this, which is somewhat high density foam, and it may I'm not entirely sure if it'll be flexible enough for her face, because ideally, and I don't even know if you could see me there, um, ideally I'd have uh, reticulated foam, which is this stuff, which is, is, is certainly more floppy. So you can see the kind of the difference here? Kind of the difference? Floppy less floppy, you know, um, but it should work. Uh, Bono was done that way, uh, and you know, it's good foam, it's nice, it's fun. Um, but then I have her head. Um, so that's that's just even your paper prototype, uh, and then and then make it, make a pattern based on that, because you sort of rip it apart, because it's taped, you can take it apart. Uh, and then you make the foam pattern, or the pattern for the foam, pattern for, yes. Pattern for the foam. Trisha Helper, Trisha Helper's midsection. Uh, and then I'll have the head and then when I get to the body I'm going to be doing that differently because I'm going to be taking instead of trying to figure out the best way to make those curves um, which is such a weird thing to be saying uh, I'm going to get a, a hunk of foam and just carve it um, because I think that'll be I think it'll be easier to get the curve because I you know being being needlessly precise here I want to get um, you know, probably some toning in her stomach, even though the outfit she's wearing probably won't show it, but I want to know that it's there. Uh, and, and the curve of her back, sort of the small of her back kind of thing. Um, and I mean, her chest and everything. Um, contrary to the sketch, though, I probably won't give her nipples. Um, and then, you know, probably the curve of her butt, just for for, <laughs> for completion. I don't know what the outfit she'll be wearing yet, so, you know. Um, and then the arms, th these arms would be simple. I'm just going to take some foam sort of shape it a bit, but it's going to be basically tubes of foam connected by fabric, so they're pretty simple. But uh, So the main things, the main uh, points of, of difficulty, in terms because I haven't done them before, is the, the, the more refined head and uh, the body. And then I also did a sketch, and there were other sketches, and this is sort of like a, a more nuanced version of Ty, which doesn't really matter right now because I, I'm going to do him first. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I'll put all these pictures up on the website or something. And then his part of his midsection, but I haven't finished planting that out. So, on to the paper prototyping. Mm -hmm.